If you're wondering why I look like I'm about to cry, it's because I am. I just went live right now. It was so much fun. Thank you all for showing up and thank you for to Dishwa D for suggesting I go live. That was that was a fun time. And guess what? I was gonna save this live, you know, for a lot of people were like, oh I'll watch it later. So I was like, okay, I'll save it and you know you guys can watch it later. Guess who didn't save it? Me. It was my first time and I was like, I don't know what button to push and I clicked one and everything just went away, so sad about it <laughs> i have a covid cough sorry yes i'm sad about it but you know what no use crying over spilt milk spilt milk thank you for showing up and what and spending that time what did i talk about in my life i went over the first chapter of this the second chapter of this i promise to figure it out and not ruin things and save the lives so yeah thank you for showing up and i don't know Sad that it didn't save, but whatever, it's fine. We'll get through it. Anyways, hi guys, my name is Maureen. Welcome to my planet. And when I'm not crying over lives I didn't save, I mean live, live streaming things that I didn't save, not actual lives, <laughs> I am talking about weight loss. And this is my weight loss journey. So you might notice that I have, I literally cried over not saving my life for one 33 minutes 130 i'm just i'm just a mess right now anyways i have my name tag on which means that i went to my weekly weigh-in meeting today yes i go to my weight watchers weekly weigh-in meeting at 8 30 a.m i might go back to seven o'clock i don't know i feel like i'm losing weight more spoiler alert with um with my 8 31 but We'll see about that. So how did my week go this week? I'm recovering from COVID and I wanted to get back into the groove of things this week. I have a microwave now. I'm so excited to make mud cakes and macaroni and cheese and popcorn and all that good stuff. And um, I went back to my exercising. Something happened. I pulled a muscle or something on my side right here and I was still exercising on Wednesday and it just hurt so bad I had to stop but the next day I was feeling better so I went lighter it's okay to go lighter and I was just been back on that I haven't been focusing on my steps that those have not been a priority but I think they will be this next week coming up and hot girl summer is still going going strong let me know how you guys are doing in the summer before or the summer before the comments below <laughs> and um yeah this week has been good and um, today i'm good um oh yeah my way in i didn't even share that with you guys this is not it where did that little slip of paper go i don't know where it went hold on i have to i literally don't know where, where it went but i shared this on my live i opened it and um Where did, let me put on my glasses to see where that little slip went. Here it is. Yeah, we're real organized here on this planet. So for my wins, my wellness wins, I got straws, reusable straws. They came in. I'm excited to use these. And so how did all of that result on the scale? Dun, dun, dun. Yay. 1.2 away from goal. Do I dare? Do I dare set that for my goal for next week? Being down 1.2, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to aim to be down 1.2 next week. Please let me be at goal next week. Please let me be at goal next week. Please let me be at goal next week. And then I can actually accomplish what I wanted to for my hot girl summer challenge. Anyways, so yeah, that's what it was. What did he talk about in the meeting this week? It was just like go-to foods that you reach for that make your journey easier for me it's or like foods that you use to go back into it um overnight oats overnight oats are so easy i love those things but i don't eat them often they're not really filling for me i like them as like a nice little breakfast snack but i'll be honest they don't really fill me up oats never do but 
I really like them. What are other things? I like my profi, my profi, profi, my protein coffee. So I take like one cup of that stoke or stock, whatever. And then I put in some one point's worth of premier protein. And then I put in some skinny scrap and I just swirl it around. And I really like that. And it comes out to one point. And then what else do I eat? I like the Tostito salsa. I like Tostito salsa. Um, it's so versatile. I use it on spaghetti. I use it on bowls. I use it on everything. And I really like um, the Weight Watcher or not the Weight Watchers, the Trader Joe's light mozzarella and their fat free feta. I like that. Um, what other foods have I used? I don't know. I'm blanking right now, but there are so many foods that you can use and you can eat. And I need to cough again. <coughs> this cough strikes at the worst time. I was doing my live and I could not get through it because this cough was like excellent time to strike. And when I'm vlogging, it's like excellent time to strike. And when I'm talking to my boss, it's like excellent time to strike. But all other th times, it's very mellow and it doesn't. So I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, so those are my go-to foods. And you can, no food is off the menu. We know that, right? No food is off the menu. You can eat what you want and you can find ways to lighten it up. Like me, I like going to Pyology and I sometimes I get the pizza without cheese at all and I get it without butter and it's fine. Like no one says anything. Sometimes I feel embarrassed to do these things, but really you don't have to. And it got me thinking, well, I'm thinking about it now. Like what are some drive through options you can have? There are a lot. Don't ever feel embarrassed that, oh, this cashier is doing this, is going to judge me for ordering the kid's meal. You can order the kid's meal. You don't have to have a kid with you. I order kid's meals all the time. Like, they're not going to be like, I don't see any kid with you. I do it at Panda Express. I order a kid's meal at Panda Express. I order a kid's meal at Chipotle. I order a kid's meal whenever I don't know the points for stuff. And let me tell you, those kid's meals are like, adult size portions they are pretty good portions so don't ever hesitate in getting a kid's meal <clears throat> what foods i'm like trying to think what foods do i go to what foods do i resort to i love popcorn i love popcorn i love chips i love popcorn i love stuff like that i when i'm getting back into the swing of things i have my go-to's and usually it'll be a sandwich because sandwiches really fill me up so like It'll either be a peanut butter sandwich in the for breakfast or like a regular sandwich with chicken and um, a whole bunch of veggies or things like that. It's never anything complicated. When I'm getting back into the swing of things, it's never anything complicated because that just makes me not want to do it. So like overnight oats, cereal. I love my Cheerios, um, my profi. Uh, there's one thing that I've been doing recently. It's so good. So I get fat-free Greek yogurt. It can be whatever Greek fat-free Greek yogurt you like. And then I add that sugar-free cheesecake jello powder. I add like zero points worth of it, which is like four grams, I think. So I add that and I mix it all together. And then you can put in fruit if you want and make it like really nice and cheesecakey. I love that for a dessert. Some people even put fat-free Ready Whip on it and then mix that together and makes it really like mousse-like or you can put in a fiber one bar those are two points or any sort of candy that you have points for you can do that as a nice little dessert pasta i always resort to pasta because it's easy to make and it doesn't have that many points i usually just do the pasta and put in a whole bunch of vegetables i really beef it up with the vegetables because if you're putting in two ounces worth it's not going to seem like a lot but then you put in your proteins and veggies and your cheese and then i put the tostito salsa on it and it just makes it a bit more that's something you can do that's something that really got me to go what got me what i ate a lot of were sandwiches and pastas and now i'm hungry so i don't know what are some of your guys's go-to foods what are your foods that you eat when you're getting right back into the swing of things let me know and i'm sure a whole bunch of other people can benefit from it as well so anyways yeah that's my i'm tired of talking i'm tired of talking i i'm just disappointed i didn't save that live what the heck man what the heck 
But I promise from chapter two, I will. I will figure out how to save the life. And for chapter two, I will. So I actually need to read chapter two. Anyways, you guys, thank you. If you showed up to my life, thank you so much for that. And thank you for watching this. And, and thank you to Dish with D for suggesting the live and letting me use her Facebook page to promote it. So, yeah. And thanks to you guys for always showing up and showing up for yourself. So feel free to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. I love hearing from you. Until next time, until Wednesday, if not sooner. See you guys then. Bye.